hey everyone welcome back to my another new video i hope you all are doing very well so today i'm going to fix this motherboard this is dell latitude 3190 laptop motherboard and it's came in repair this uh, not turning on so now i will try to fix this so let's try to fix it okay uh, this is my motherboard part number and now i will uh, check the condition of this motherboard so let's plug it in and uh, look at my power supply as soon as i plugged in it's taking 0.062 amps but it's not turning on so now i'm going to disconnect this rtc battery if there is no other problem after I remove this cmos battery it will turn on so let's check this again it's plugged in and uh, look at my power supply it's it's still same it's not turning on so now I will try to switching here. No response. No switching board. So now I will check some required voltage one by one. plugged in again and uh, unfortunately no wood view no schematic available for this model so I'm going to start from DC jack 19 volt it's present here in this DC jack and then I will check this MOSFET here also 19 volt present Now I will check one of these filtering capacitor. Let me show you under my microscope so you can see easily. So as you can see this, this is the main power rail capacitor. So I will check here. Okay. So look at here 19 volt is not present on this motherboard So now I'm going to check I have no schematic and board view for this model so it will be a little bit difficult to fix for me. Okay, let's check the evidence. It's given beep. That means this main power rail is shot to ground. yes look here if I touch my multimeter probe here it is giving beep both sides so there is only one option to find out this short circuit by inject voltage from my power supply so now I'm going to inject voltage from my power supply so i set my power supply in one volt and i connect ground to ground and then i will touch this this coil this coil and look at my power supply it's taking more than two amps so now I will touch everywhere to find out which is getting hot, which component is getting hot.
I think something is getting hot. In this area, let's put some smoke here so I can easily find out. Okay, maybe it's enough. Okay, let's connect the ground again and I can inject voltage in this coil as you can see here to coil. So let's <sighs> Nothing is getting hot here. Maybe I can see something here. Let me clear. Look at this capacitor. So I think this capacitor, check here. giving it Okay, no more beep. Um, look at this capacitor. It's broken already. And it's giving beep. But I little bit confused that when I inject voltage from my power supply to here, it's not getting hot. I also inject here but this capacitor wasn't hot i don't know why so let's plug it in 
and it's turning on It's plugged in again, it's turning on. It's restart. Restart again. And the logo is coming. So we successfully fixed this motherboard. The main power rail was short on this motherboard. We just remove a filter capacitor and it's work again. So thanks everyone for watching this video.